set up for a uh, 45 long, 24 deep, I believe, or 23, and 30, 29 or 30 high. So the tank usually is that one set up. It starts from a full corner over this side here, and a close after. So I started with a higher Pukani here that goes down with some uh, shelving that protrudes out from one side, and it goes down like a ladder style. Goes down, goes back up. Nothing overlapping on the shelves, so that way you don't have any uh, shades from the lighting itself. And then goes down to a different height of Pukani that goes here from the next one that's the highest one here. And then it's uh, I got it bridged off for another small piece of shelf here. Could be taken out or could be left in. And then this cave here through this rock here, you could see it actually could be drilled out to go all the way to the other side of the rock, to the for pretty much from the front to the back side of the tank. And then I went from this to a two nice cone shape. Pukani, this one here and this one here, you could easily have a bridge like I have it from one small shelf down below and one on the top and they are offset so there is not going to be shade from this one to the bottom one or easily they could be simply taken out and this one is about three four inches off the uh, sand bed I would say and it could be just placed off by itself and here's a look at it from lengthwise side of the tank more like on the right side of the tank center and this one would probably be good with about two pounds of Fiji Crete to put all these shelf pieces without them falling apart or being knocked by fish or, or whatnot there's lots of gap and lots of space between the front and the back I believe from the tip the last tip of the rock is about three inches from the glass the front and the back and you have tons of swimming spaces and you can see the tank height goes as high as the uh, tape up on the wall there so quite a bit of distance